So Dave, I know that you have come back from some pretty tough times. Uh, you've been in prison, you've bounced back, and now you yourself are giving back. Uh, you do a lot of work in the community, uh, nonprofits like Project Pooch and uh, Ethos, and you've actually hired uh, other ex felonious people to, uh, to work for you. Tell us about that. Yeah, we have about 200 employees here, and approximately 50 or 60 of those are ex-felons like me. I mean, uh, what kind of guy would I be if I didn't give other people a chance to do the same thing that I've done? So would you say that I have a job here? <laughs> Hell no. Okay, so it's the ex-felon thing. So what if I go and I rob a Federal Reserve, and then I do some hard time, and then I come back, and I'm uh, rehabilitated and I'm, I'm applying for a job, would then I would get the... Uh... No, okay. no way. So imagine like an orphanage, it's on fire, and I kick the door in, I run in, and I get the one baby that they had forgot about, and I come out, I'm covered in soot, and I'm like, oh, here's this baby, and it's alive. And Dave, can I get a job? <laughs> no. What about if I, what if I, what about if I, what if I landed a commercial jet line on the Hudson River and saved everyone's life? No. What if I saved your life? And no. I, wow. So I guess uh, Dave's Killer Brad, where everyone deserves a second chance, except for Sean McGrath. Thanks, Dave. Thanks a lot. Oh, my mom's going to be so disappointed. <laughs>